Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Some of Earth's most fascinating creatures come in the most unexpected forms. From cats that love water to meat-eating parrots, here are eight animals that shouldn't exist but do. Number 8. Poisonous Birds Native to the rainforests of New Zealand, the pitohui is the only known genus of poisonous bird in the entire world. The feathers and skin of at least three species of the bird contain a strong poison. Of those species, hooded and the variable pitohuis are considered the deadliest. The vibrant colors of the pitohui, which we tend to think of as exotic and beautiful, are believed to actually be a warning sign to other animals of the bird's toxicity. The bird's poisonous properties were unknown until 1989, when Jack Dumbacher, a researcher from the California Academy of Sciences who was studying New Guinea's birds of paradise, was scratched by a pitohui he'd caught in a net. He began to feel a burning and tingling pain in his hands. He put the cut to his mouth to put some saliva on it, and shortly after, his lips and tongue developed the same burning sensation, which lasted for hours. Later on, Doombacher placed a pitohui feather in his mouth and was overcome yet again by a feeling similar to that of licking a 9-volt battery. Yikes! Doombacher remained curious about the source of the bird's poison and set out to find answers. He brought back some feathers and gave them to chemist John Daly, who had isolated the toxin of the poison dart frog in the 1960s. It was eventually determined that the poison, which contains neurotoxic alkaloids of the Batrachotoxin family, the same group of toxins as the lethal substance emitted by poison dart frogs, may not be produced by the birds themselves. Instead, it's thought to come from beetles of the Coracine family, which are an abundant source of the pitohui's diet. While ingesting a toxic substance is typically damaging to an animal, this poison benefits the pitohui by permeating its body without causing any harm and serving as a defense mechanism against predators such as snakes, raptors, and humans, as well as ectoparasites. Doombacher is lucky he only barely sampled the pitohui's poison. In higher doses, it can cause cardiac arrest, paralysis, and death. A word to the wise, when it comes to the pitohui, it's best to adhere to a look-but-don't-touch policy. And don't go around sticking feathers in your mouth if you're not a biologist. Number 7. Carnivorous Parrots The cartoonish kia, native to New Zealand, is the only alpine species of parrot in the world, making it uncharacteristically capable of handling heavy winds, cold temperatures, and even snow. It possesses thick, insulating feathers and soars like a raptor as it flies. While the kia's olive green hue may seem boring or drab at first glance, it becomes much more colorful in flight, displaying its bright red underwing feathers. This endangered species is also unique due to its eating habits. Using its sharp hooked beak, the kia sweeps in like a hawk or a vulture to scavenge mammal carcasses or to attack and consume live prey such as its favorite snack, shearwater chicks. It's even gained a reputation among farmers for having an alleged tendency to attack sheep. The kia is particularly attracted to humans, but they clearly have more to fear from us than we do them. Some of the biggest threats to the species, which is estimated to number between just 3 to 7,000, are caused by human activities. Included among those threats are accidents involving man-made objects, risks associated with pest control, and the attractive sweet taste of lead, which often leads to poisoning. Some people consider the kia's behavior to be pesky due to occasional property damage caused by the sometimes mischievous bird. Although it's illegal to shoot the kia, it happens anyway, courtesy of annoyed humans. Number 6. Freshwater Seals Meet the Baikal seal, a species of seal endemic to Lake Baikal in Siberia, Russia. The Baikal seal, known locally as the Nerpa, is related to the Caspian seal and the Arctic ringed seal. One major difference sets the Baikal seal apart from the others, however. It's the only true freshwater species of seal in the entire world. The Baikal seal species is thought to be up to half a million years old and is exclusive to Lake Baikal, the deepest, oldest, and largest freshwater lake on the planet. The origin of the species is somewhat of a mystery to scientists who have yet to figure out what led the seals to the lake and to become an established endemic species. Most of the 3,600 plant animal species that call Lake Baikal home are endemic to the lake. In recent years, scientists have become increasingly concerned about threats to the lake's unique biodiversity. The omul fish, a type of salmon that has lived in the lake for several centuries, is rapidly disappearing, resulting in a commercial fishing ban. Harmful algae is growing at an unprecedented rate, and endemic species of sponge are also dying out. 
Experts haven't agreed on one sole cause of the lake's alarming decline, but they have cited several plausible theories, including climate change and pollution. It's most likely a combination of both. One thing remains certain. If urgent efforts aren't made to preserve Lake Baikal, which has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it could ultimately lose all of its amazing wildlife, including the Baikal seal. Number 5. Fishing Cats Even if you're a cat person, it's probably very unlikely that you've ever had to bathe a cat, because for the most part, they are famous for hating water. But there is always an exception to the rule, and there is a species of cat that not only tolerates water, but prefers it. The appropriately named fishing cat is native to Southeast Asia and lives in a number of watery environments, including wetlands, the edges of rivers and streams, and mangrove swamps. They hunt for aquatic prey, such as fish, by diving in the water and snatching up their victims with their sharp teeth and claws. Not only is the fishing cat unafraid of the water, it's evolved to be one of the most skilled swimmers among predatory mammals with powerful muscles, short tails, and exceptional paddling and diving abilities, along with the capability of walking through mud without sinking. The fishing cat is insulated from the cold, wet waters at Hunsin by a thick, short base layer of fur. Fish make up most of the fishing cat's diet, but they're also known for diving under the water and attacking waterfowl by grabbing them by the feet, which ranks as one of the creepiest known ways for a mammal to hunt. The next time your fussy feline needs a flea bath, you could try telling them to toughen up and be more like the fishing cat, or you could put on a ski mask, your thickest jacket, and some heavy-duty gloves, and hope for the best. Number 4. Plant-Eating Vultures it's common knowledge that a vulture's diet typically consists of scavenged animal carcasses, but there is one exception, the palm nut vulture, which lives and breeds in the forests and savannas of sub-Saharan Africa and feeds primarily on the seeds, nuts, and fruits of various trees, including the acacia, date palm, and kosi palm. Although 60% of an adult bird's diet and 90% of a juvenile's consists of plants, the palm nut vulture isn't strictly an herbivore. It also eats freshwater and marine crabs, reptile eggs and hatchlings, frogs, fish, small mammals, and even domestic poultry. Watch out for your chickens. It's not picky. One thing remains conspicuously absent from its diet, though. Dead animals. With a wingspan of under 5 feet, the black and white palm nut vulture is the smallest of the existing Old World vulture species and is known for its agility and its ability to hang upside down on tree branches. Number 3. Hybrid Big Cats Ligers and Tigons and Lydigons. Oh my! Wait, what? I'll explain. If you've seen the movie Napoleon Dynamite or other random videos here on YouTube, then you've at least heard of the Liger, a hybrid between a lion and a tiger. But did you know that it's a real thing? More specifically, a liger is the offspring of a male lion and a female tiger, parents of the same genus but different species. The liger grows to be larger than both of its parent species and is the largest known cat in existence. It's even bigger than its relative, the tigon, which is a cross between a female lion and a male tiger. There's also such a thing as a lydagon, an extremely rare hybrid between a male lion and a female tigon. Lydagons grow nearly as large as ligers. One lydagon, a male named Cubanican, who was born in March 1979 at the Alipore Zoo in India, reached an astounding 800 pounds. Cubanican was the only surviving cub out of the litter of three. In the following years, his mother, a tigon named Rudrani, produced four more lydagons. Hybrid animals are often born sterile due to the genetic complications associated with crossbreeding between species. The crossbreeding of big cats has been a topic of controversy throughout the years. It was banned in India where Cubanican was purposely bred in 1985. In the United States, efforts are currently being made to ban the practice, which many animal rights advocates believe is unavoidably cruel. They are often bred for their acuteness and taken away from their mothers at an early age. The ethical debates and fertility issues that come along with big cat hybrids means not many more will probably come into existence in the future. Number 2. Nocturnal Gulls Hailing from Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands, and Malpelo Island, Colombia, the swallow-tailed gull is a little-known equatorial marine bird that also happens to be nocturnal. During the day, this bird rests and tends to its young, a responsibility shared between both parents. At night, it forages for food using its relatively good night vision to hunt fish and squid by moonlight. Its dark large eyes are covered in a layer of reflective tissue, which aids it at night by bouncing light back through the retina to the photoreceptor cells. 
the swallow-tailed gull has evolved in other ways to accommodate its preference for a third shift hunting schedule, including biochemical adaptations such as reduced levels of the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin. The bizarre-looking bird, which has ghostly white spots on its plumage and a dark head, is the only genuinely nocturnal seabird in the entire world. Number 1. Marine Iguanas Described by Charles Darwin as hideous-looking and most disgusting clumsy lizards, the marine iguana got a really bad rap, but it is a very unique animal. Unlike most lizards who stick to desert-like and tropical environments, the marine iguana is what it sounds like, a water animal that forages under the surf and hangs out along the waves, feasting mostly on the algae and seaweed of submerged rocks. So how did this dinosaur-like creature become the only ocean-going lizard on the planet? Scientists believe that millions of years ago, land-dwelling lizards from South America drifted out to sea on logs and debris, eventually ending up on the Galapagos Islands, where they reside today. There are marine iguanas of various sizes, shapes, and colors present throughout the entire archipelago, and they tend to be unique to different islands. Some grow to up to 3 feet long and weigh up to 22 pounds. Despite its homely and often intimidating appearance, the marine iguana is a harmless, gentle herbivore that has evolved specifically for a life in and around the saltwater. Its razor-sharp teeth are used for nothing more than scraping food off of rocks, and its long, dagger-like claws enable it to cling to rocks or remain underwater against strong currents. After taking a dip in the frigid waters surrounding the Galapagos, the marine iguana's dark gray skin easily absorbs sunlight. Special glands clean its blood of extra salt that it consumes while eating, giving it that characteristic crusty appearance. That's all for today, but there's plenty more where that came from. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to let me know to make more videos like these. See you next time. Bye!